Hello everybody. So today I have a video for an issue that I've been having with Asus Aura. Um, it's fixed now, but basically the issue was that whenever I'd open Aura, the actual motherboard icon here indicating that I could change the lights on the motherboard was not here. I had the DRAM one, so I'm not too sure how this will all go if you don't have uh, RAM that's, that syncs up with Aura as well, but basically... Uh, the motherboard option was missing and right now I'm using version 1.05.25 so in order to resolve this I found out that if you boot into the BIOS and then go into advanced so I guess if you're unfamiliar with this reboot your computer hit F2 or delete and uh, then go to the the advanced tab here there's a section that says RGB lighting under advanced onboard devices configuration turn that to off basically what you have to do is um, at least for me anyways even with the motherboard option missing in aura the motherboard lights were still doing their color cycle so I figured maybe they needed to be basically flushed and then restarted again so to do that if you do off here in RGB lighting and then the next thing you'll have to do is go to the advanced APM configuration under advanced and then set the ERP ready state to enable S4 S5 basically what this will do is when your computer is completely off those lights will not be cycling so that's something you can leave too if you don't want those lights doing their color cycle when your computer is off but basically to fix this we need those lights to go completely off so do that you're going to have to hit F10 to save and then your computer will boot up. Once it's booted up, shut it down and then make sure that the lights are completely off. Once they're completely off, boot back into the BIOS. If you want the lights on, uh, you can come back here and set RGB lighting to on. Um, and then depending on what you want here, you can, you can leave these either on their enable S4 plus S5 state so that the lights are off when the computer's off, or you can put it back to disabled so that basically they're always on. Um, you, you may have to do this a few times. It took me probably three or four reboots to actually get the lights to turn off. And then once they've turned off and you've turned them back on again, um, what you'll have to do is... <clears throat> You'll have to go and uninstall Aura, so you can do that from the control panel. Basically just uninstall Aura right here. And then if you don't have uh, the Aura package, what you can do is, I'll have a link for this in the description, but basically if you just Google search Asus Maximus Hero or whatever Asus motherboard you have, support. It'll be one of the first links up here. As you can see, there's a there's the motherboard. Select the OS and then scroll down and we can see Aura version 1.05.25. You can download that. I think it comes downloaded as a, let's see, as a zip. So yeah, you should be able to unzip that even if you don't have a WinRAR, just use a WinZip or whatever it comes with uh, the OS. But once you reinstall it, you should see the motherboard option here. And uh, right now I can confirm that setting one of these options does actually change the, um, the lighting options. I hope that makes sense. It's kind of hard to show something, show a fix or something when it's not currently broken. And I don't know how to uh, make it not work again, so... Basically, uh, that's all I needed to do to get this to work again. I tried finding other ways to do it, and it, I could not figure it out. Uninstalling and reinstalling on its own didn't seem to help. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. And as always, thanks for watching.